So today we're working on this area. We're putting up shutters, but we're doing barn door shutters that actually work. Stick around, we'll show you how we're doing it. So we have these old vinyl shutters that we got at a discount store about 11 years ago. They've done the job, they're fine, but they're starting to warp. So my wife said, we should get some new shutters. I said, okay, so we built some uh, shutters out of some treated lumber mount them on the wall, that's it. And she said, well, wouldn't it be great if they were working shutters to hit hinges and things like that? I said, well, that's fine if that's what you want. We started looking at it. And then comes in the 14 year old and he says, dad, what about barn door shutters that are actually on a track that go back and forth? That's a crazy idea, but I kind of like it. So let's do it. So here's what we're using. We're using this metal rail that we bought that's made for exterior and we bought that online you can get it lots and lots of places just find the best price and go with it this is actually 12 foot our space here that we're uh, using is about 11 foot we're gonna have to do some uh, changing right here but uh, we're gonna cut this down to 11 foot and we're also gonna do some various things to it but let me show you some of the hardware that, that you have to buy with it unless you can find it all together these actually mount on the wall uh, and I guess it doesn't matter whether you're using wood or concrete, you just use the proper uh, screws or bolts or whatever that you're going to use. You're supposed to use one every two foot. So we've got five of them um, and you just put them on the end and slide them on. And then the other hardware, uh, these black screws actually come with them. And these, uh, you got to buy these wheels as well. You know, they, have, they make different kinds, but these come... Um, with the bolts and the wheels and then these to mount on your doors that you make. I think they're particularly made more for barn doors, but we're doing the shutters. And we need something heavy duty because it's gonna be treated lumber, it's gonna be heavy. And it also comes with these little end caps that you just slide right in here. And I guess you can drill a hole in and put a bolt in if you want to. But that's pretty much what we're using other than lumber. And we're gonna uh, cut this off about a foot and then we're gonna spray paint this stuff black because we would rather have it black and uh, and start working on our doors. So we got our rail cut down to the size that we need from 12 foot to 10 foot, 10 inch to fit ours. But now we're painting it because we actually want it black. So we're just using a flat black that's made for metal and various surfaces. So with the Rust-Oleum uh, and uh, Judah there is painting that any surface area where it's gonna be seen. Uh, but we went ahead and put our brackets in place so that we don't scratch up the paint. So those are actually where they're supposed to be when we hang it. And uh, so that way we don't scratch up anything. And so we're also gonna be painting these. Obviously we're gonna be hanging doors from these, but uh, we don't want that color. We want it to match our rail. So we're gonna be painting those and these end caps. And of course, not the wheels themselves, but the bottom part of the wheels right here because it'll be exposed. And then also these bolts, um, just the top parts of these bolts uh, so that everything will match. So our rail is dry and we've done some prepping to mount that. So let me show you what we've done. We've come and marked a chalk line across here uh, so that we can put the bottom of our rail on the chalk line so that it doesn't, so it's level and it's not in a bind and our shutters will roll back and forth easily and not be, you know, in an awkward position. Now we've chosen an inch and a half up because there's about an inch and a half in between the wheels and the shutter, the top of the shutter. So our shutter should come just about even with the bottom of this board so that we don't have any gaps or anything like that and everything runs smoothly. So now we are using the bolts that are included with these brackets. There's one per. Uh, these uh, will fit perfectly with what we're doing, but the brick actually stops about where our chalk line is. And obviously our bolt is gonna be three inches or so above that. So we should be good. But now if you're going straight into brick or concrete, obviously you're gonna to wanna to make some adjustments there. But for us, we're ready to put this up and get it mounted. So I already have one shutter made. This is the second one. And I wanna show you just a few things, depending on what size you want them. I mean, you know, you have to custom make them. Uh, we're making ours four foot and three and a half inches long uh, because that's that's what we need uh, but when no matter how wide or how long you make it i want to make sure you tie all these in together because you got all these boards going long ways so we took one all the way across screwed them into each board 
and then also did the same thing down in the middle and then did the same thing down in the bottom that way they're all tied together and they're uh, really good and secure and then of course we come back and run these up the side mainly just for uh, decorative purposes and then run our angle uh, as well and these actually help to give it strength as well because you're screwing one in each each place as well so lots of ways to do it that's how we do it but let me show you the hardware because i'm holding in my hand the hardware that we bought separately and if you can come over here and you can see that we've drilled three holes and those three holes are actually to match this uh, as i get it on there so that you can see see our holes line up right here and then this uh, bolt just goes through onto the other side if you want to come around to the other side i'll show you <clears throat> what it looks like back here as we have come in here and put a notch after we made the shutter we just put a notch and the reason we put a notch is because this bolt this these wheels bolt on to this bracket um, that holds on to your shutter and it has a nut that screws right up on that bolt and you got to have room to be able to put that in and i can't tell that it's any less stronger because we put a notch in just use a saw put you a notch in if you've got fancy tools great just use a skill saw do something to put that notch in there and then your bolts are just going to run right through here and then you're going to put the nut right on it and tighten those up so we're going to do that on both of these and then we are ready to stain and hang them now we've decided to go with a black stain. Now obviously you can go with whatever color you want. You can even paint them or you don't even have to do anything to them, but we really like the, the look of the black. But I think the thing you wanna be cautious of here is to make sure that you're not getting an interior stain. You want a good outdoor stain. And so we got this at our local hardware store. We mixed it with the color that we wanted. It's a stain and sealer in one definitely do a lot better than just normal stain and uh, also seal it at the same time so we're waiting on these to dry and as they dry we're going to hang them up So they are officially up really like the shutters and i'll show you how they roll here in a moment when i'm completely finished but i wanted to show you something before i move any further so that you know this rail does not come with an end cap you can get these separately or in a kit and so they're pretty simple we spray painted this one but we've already got ours in there so you can see it just pops right in that end you kind of take a hammer and beat it in and i guess there's a place where you can reinforce it with a bolt but it's pretty tight. I think it'll be fine the way it is. If we have a problem, we'll come back and address that. But our next step is to install these door rollers. And of course they came just like everything else, that color. And we spray painted them. Uh, the wheels were already black. And the idea here obviously is that you can put them behind your door or your shutter in this case and adjust this wheel right here on the bottom to keep your door from swaying out. So in order to do that, obviously we've got brick here that we're going into. We've got a mason bit and we've got these anchors that we're gonna kind of beat into the wall and secure these to the wall now so that we can go forward. And we gotta get rid of that old nasty nest right there that was behind our old shutter. So we'll get that done as well. Other than just a few touch-ups, I am done, and I want to show you how they roll. So first, the bottom roller, you can see it rolling, and I'll probably adjust this some. You can see that there's some play right there, but it is so easy to adjust that because of that nut. Of course, I got my nest going too. I got to wash it off the top rail. Let me see how that looks. Of course, it's got that end cap on it, and so it, it stops right there, and it rolls easy. It's a little noisy, but to be honest with you, these are probably not going to be closed that often. But uh, we do live in an area where hurricanes come through occasionally, and we're about 50 miles or so from the 
coast as the crow flies. It would be nice to be able to close these instead of boarding up windows. We can do this instead. So I like them. Let me show you a bigger view. Well, it's a vast improvement over the vinyl uh, shutter. This is going to the trash. So we're going to go ahead and keep that one aside. We come back and put some handles on the, on the shutters to be able to just grab them if we want to open them and close them. Now it's not going to be closed that often, but it's kind of nice to be able to have the option. And uh, so rolls well, end cap stops it. And of course this one as well goes back and it stops as well. And of course, if we want to close them, we can close them as well. Probably we'll get a latch and latch on there to close it all the way and lock it, be able to lock it. So but either way, hopefully this inspires your next shutter project. Thank you guys for watching.